four different ways you could tell your pieces are ready. The first way is basically what you just saw. You seen how easy they came off. We didn't have to cut them off. We didn't have to twist them off. They just came right off. The second way is about how they feel. What's up, family status? I hope everyone having a great morning, great evening, great afternoon. Today, I'm gonna harvest sugar princess peaches grown in a container. So we planted this peach tree in a 20 gallon storage container this year, January, let's see, 24th. And we already got peaches. So if you're thinking about buying a peach tree next year, just do it because you may harvest peaches the first year you get it. See how easy that came off? Beautiful. So before we finish harvesting our peaches, let's talk about four different ways you can tell your peaches are ready. The first way is basically what you just saw. You seen how easy they came off. We didn't have to cut them off. We didn't have to twist them off. They just came right off. The second way is about how they feel. You don't want your peaches to be super firm when you harvest them. The third way is about how they look. You don't want your peaches to have a lot of green undertone when you harvest them. You want them to look beautiful and delicious just like this. And the fourth way is when you start to notice the birds eating all of your peaches. Look at Steve. He just watching and waiting for me to leave. This guy. Check out this mulberry tree. We just planted this two weeks ago look at it this is definitely one of the easiest berries to grow mulberries super easy so before we do a taste test on our sugar princess peaches let's check out our peach tree Check it out. You see what I see? Look at it. See how light green it is? And all of these different color leaves. The way our Sugar Princess peach tree look let me know three things. The first thing is that our peach tree is in need of something. I don't know if it's nitrogen. I don't know if it's magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, but it's definitely in need of something. Cause look at it. It doesn't supposed to look like this. Those leaves are supposed to be darker. They don't supposed to be all these different colors. So we definitely gotta feed our peach tree some all-purpose fertilizer and we're also going to do a chop and drop on our peach tree matter of fact i'll show you guys how we do that now so now i'm going to show you how easy the chop and drop method is what this plant is right here is comfrey and this plant has a lot of nutrients for fruit trees so all you have to do take it just like this You know what comfort leaves smell like? Cucumbers. And all you have to do is mulch it around your fruit trees. And this method is called chop and drop. And it's that easy. The second thing that this lets me know is that we're having some type of pest problem. And as soon as I realized that, I started analyzing our peach tree and I noticed a lot of Japanese beetles. So check it out, look, this is our cherry tree and it looks the same way. 
Japanese beetles are going crazy on the fruit trees. The third thing it lets me know is that maybe we're not watering our fruit trees enough. So that's why I added straw on the top. Just in case we don't get the water every day, that straw holds moisture in our containers. Now it's time to see what it looked like on the inside. That's what a ripe peach look like. Oh man, I wish you guys could smell it. And you know what? I also forgot. It's one more way you can tell your peaches are ready. And that's by the smell. Look at that. Look at that. This is the sweetest, juiciest, greatest peach I've ever had in my life. Hands down. Mm. Oh man. If you don't like peaches because you think they're sour, try growing your own. Trust me. Mm. What? Mm -mm -mm. And these are sugar princess peaches. They literally taste like I fed the peach tree sugar. <laughs> like I poured sugar in the container. Roots absorb the sugar and store them straight in the peaches. That's how these taste. Super sweet. Oh man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 